All Round Student Award is presented by Mr. John Thompson, Vice President of Thompson's Limited. And the recipient is Stacy Nika Cladero. Next, we have the Academic Proficiency Awards. Scholarships are awarded to students in each of the programs with the highest cumulative average at the end of semester four. In order to win a scholarship in this section, a student must have a minimum, minimum sorry, cumulative average of 80%. The Academic Proficiency in Agriculture is presented by Mr. Carl Medlinger, Production Supervisor with DuPont Pioneer. And the award goes to Tanya Golan. Academic proficiency runner-up in agriculture is provided by Del Monte Canada Incorporated and is presented by Mr. Carl Evans, Agriculture Manager, to Alexander Zellum. Academic Proficiency Environmental Management Award is sponsored by Lower Thames Valley Conservation Authority. Jason Wintermute, Water Management Supervisor, will present this award. The recipient is Luke Johnston. Academic Proficiency Runner-Up Environmental Management is provided by Chatham-Kent PUC. Ms. Lily Snobelin, Supervisor of Compliance and Quality Standards, will make the presentation to Jerry Silcox. Academic Proficiency in Horticulture is provided by H.J. Hines, Company of Canada Limited, and is be pre being presented by Mr. Tim Suter, Eastern North America Sales Manager for Hines Seed Division. This year's recipient is Stacey Neka Cladero. Academic Proficiency Runner-Up in Horticulture is sponsored and presented by J. Murray Nielsen, son of the late J.J. J. Nielsen. This award this year goes to Tabitha DeLate.
Academic Proficiency in Veterinary Technology, award is sponsored by Merck Animal Health. Mrs. Marion Beach, coordinator of the Veterinary Technician and Veterinary Office Administration programs, will make the presentation on behalf of Eileen McEwen. The recipient is Rachel Thiessen. <laughs> Academic proficiency runner-up in veterinary technology is provided by the Blenheim Veterinary Hospital. Ms. Shelley Doherty, college professor, will make the presentation. The award goes to Carly Sullivan. Academic Proficiency Veterinary Office Administration is provided by Zoetis. Ms. Catherine Bryant, college professor, will make the presentation to Stephanie Dymowski. Academic Proficiency Runner-Up Veterinary Office Administration Award is provided by Mariel Canada Incorporated. Mrs. Heather Warwick, Senior College Lecturer, will present this award to Samantha Fisher. Academic Proficiency Performance Horse Handler Certificate is sponsored by the Ontario Harness Horse Association and is being presented by Mr. Ken Gowan, OHH member, to Jesse Scott. Academic Proficiency Runner-Up Performance Horse Handler Certificate Award is sponsored by the Canadian Thoroughbred Horse Society. Ms. Sharon McMaster, College Senior Lecturer, will make the presentation to Stephanie Boyce. Academic Excellence in the Agriculture Diploma Program, Ed Burton's Memorial Award, is provided by the Burton's family. Joanne Vandenberg, Ed Burton's cousin, will make the presentation. This year's recipient is Tanya Golan.
the Ministry of, sorry, the Ministry of Agriculture and Food and Ministry of Rural Affairs Minister's Leadership Award is being presented by Mr. Brent Kennedy, Director, Regional Economic Development Branch. The recipient from this year's graduating class is Kathleen Baird. Leonard R. Giffen Memorial Award, Fern Karen, District Sales Manager for County Seed, sorry, Country Seed, Farm Seeds, Country Farm Seeds, will make the presentation. The award goes to Ashton Colvin. Paul Patton Beattie Memorial Award. Here to make the presentation today is Mr. Stephen Beattie, brother of the late Paul Patton Beattie. The recipient is Veronica Claver. Student making the most progress. Presenting on behalf of the Watson family is Mr. Rob Watson. The recipient of this award is Travis Rudzint. If I can ask Ashton Colvin, Student Council President, to accept on behalf of Travis, that would be wonderful. <laughs> The Student Overcoming Adversity Award is sponsored by the West Egg Alumni Association. I would like to call on Mr. Mitch Poole, Treasurer of the West Egg Alumni Association, to present the award. The award goes to Frazier Falconer. The Francis and Ann Ouellette Scholarships. Mrs. Mary Jean Horn, niece of Francis and Ann Ouellette, and her husband Wilbert, will make the presentation. This year's winners are Erin McQueen, Douglas Darling, Rachel Thiessen, and Rebecca Koslig. The Ontario Processing Vegetable Growers, R.H. Brown Memorial Scholarship. Mrs. Liz Brown, wife of the late Rudy Brown, will make the presentation. The recipient is Jessica Gockel.
The Greg Butler Memorial Scholarship is being presented by Mrs. Linda Butler, mother of the late Greg Butler. The recipient of this award is Kevin Haney. Stan Olson Young Agriculturalist Award. This award is sponsored by the Olson family. I would like to ask Mr. Shannon Olson, son of the late Stan Olson, to please come forward and make the presentation. The recipient is Nicole Van Dornick. Sorry, this is Bill Olson. The Ontario Parks Association Award. Mr. John Zanstra, Coordinator, Agriculture and Horticulture Programs, will make the presentation on behalf of the Ontario Parks Association. This year's recipient is Colin Roberts. I believe Colin's absent, so I'd like to call on Ashton Colvin to come forward to accept on his behalf. Farm Credit Canada National Business Planning Awards. Mr. Gailey Paling, District Director, Farm Credit Canada, will make the presentations. The two awards go to Alexander Zellum and Jasper Durait. If you could please just stay at the front for a moment, that'd be great. <laughs> Surprise. The Excellence in Farm Project Peter Conlon Memorial Award is being presented by Mr. Hugh Dietrich, friend of the Conlon family. Recipient is Alexander Zellum. Dr. Ron Piblato Memorial Scholarship will be presented by Mr. Ian Nichols, President, Weather Innovations Incorporated. This year's winner is Amy Velchi. I believe Amy is also not present today. If, if Ashton is available again, if she could accept, that would be great. The Dr. Gary Ablett Memorial Scholarship is sponsored by the Ablett family. Mrs. Jane Ablett, wife of the late Gary Ablett, will make the presentation to Megan Moore. Excellence in Conduct and Character, J. Harold Wilson Memorial Award. I would like to call on Mr. Mitch Poole to make the presentations. The recipients are Lindsay Morris and Alejandro Hennings Fernandez.
The FCC Gold Medal, which is being presented for the first time this year, is awarded to the student with the highest GPA from all diploma programs at Ridgetown campus. This award is being presented by Mr. Gary Paling, Farm Credit Canada. The recipient is Tanya Golan. The FCC Silver Medal, also being presented for the first time, is awarded to the student with the second highest GPA from all diploma programs at Ridgetown campus. Mr. Gary Paling will make the presentation to Stacy Neka Cladero. The Dorothy and Clay Switzer Leadership Scholarship was established by the OAC Alumni Foundation in recognition of Dr. Clay Switzer's contribution to OAC as Dean from 1972 to 1983. This scholarship goes to a student who has demonstrated outstanding leadership ability by involvement in OAC student organizations and activities. Dr. Rob Gordon, Dean of OAC, will make the presentation. This year's recipient is Ashton Colvin. <clears throat> For the course awards section, course awards are given to the student with the highest cumulative average in semesters three and four in various course areas. A student may win only two course awards in this section. We would ask that you review the graduation program for a complete listing of all course award recipients and donors. Trophies and plaques for certain course awards have been engraved with recipient names and are on display at the back. Certificates and prizes for these awards will be mailed out to the recipients. Last, we have the Dr. Ron Piblato Award for Teaching Excellence. I would now like to call upon Dr. Irene Moore, Associate Director of Academics, to present the Dr. Ron Piblato Award for Teaching Excellence. The, it was very difficult for the committee to make a decision this year. We had uh, outstanding nominations, but the, we finally decided on person and uh, just as far as the criteria for the award, they need to have a comprehensive knowledge of the subject matter. And, and certainly, this instructor knows everything there is to know about horses. Uh, she's established a reputation among students and colleagues for superior teaching and, and uh, having students maintain and motivate them. And, and again, uh, she whether it be painting a horse or, or, or um, thinking of all sorts of innovative ways, the students were certainly um, engaged in their classes. And certainly, she's been very involved in curriculum development. Um, she started off as an instructor, then became the lead instructor, and is now the coordinator of the program, and is continually improving uh, the performance horse handler program. And certainly, uh, throughout her tenure with the University of Guelph Ridgetown campus at REACH, she has made an outstanding contribution to the education of our students. So with great pleasure, the recipient of the 2013 Dr. Ron Paplato Teaching Excellence Award is Mrs. Sharon McMaster. A special thank you to all those who donated money and gifts to make this awards program possible. Ridgetown Campus appreciates your support of our academic programs. This concludes the graduation awards program. Please join me in congratulating the recipients and thanking the donors.